What's up guys, it's Alex and today I've got a pretty cool video for you guys. So the other day I got a question in the comment section of one of my videos and it went something along the lines of like, you know, hey Alex, I got uh, fish schooling out in the middle of the lake, they're blowing up on bait, uh, you know, how do I catch those fish? And you know, in that particular scenario, he couldn't get them to bite anything, that, you know, top water or anything like that. I suggested he throw one of the baits we're gonna talk about today. But I thought I would do a video on you know baits to throw at those school and fish a lot of the times it's hard to get those fish to eat and you got to have a variety of different things tied on to get those fish in the boat and a lot of the times depending on the kind of fish that you're fishing around in your fishery those fish can be very very large fish in the case of the guy who asked the question um i suggested he throw one of the baits that we're going to talk about today and he actually ended up catching his personal best a 10 pounder which is really really cool i want to congratulate him on that he's probably watching my videos so congratulations buddy that is really really cool um, but I thought I would just take this as a learning opportunity and a teaching opportunity to talk about some of the baits that I pick up and throw in those situations when you got fish schooling out in the middle of the lake and they're hard to catch and really this time of year we're going from that summer fall transition into the fall winter transition a lot of the times those drastic changes in weather can cause those fish to pull off the bank suspend and they only eat bait fish that come over their head and they come up schooling out in the middle of the lake and you just got to be ready to you know take a hold of that opportunity and catch those fish so we'll go down a list of baits here that i use um number one obviously and probably gonna be my favorite way to do it if i can get them to eat it is some sort of top water i mean what's the easiest way to catch fish schooling on top fire a top water over them and start working it and you know it looks like a wounded bait fish or a dime bait fish they take that opportunity to crush that top water bait plus when they're schooling on that bait like that they're already looking up so for them to hit a top water is no big deal they're already looking for it they're already looking for those wounded bait fish on top so a simple top water is going to get the job done for me i'm either just going to throw a normal old head and spook uh, i like the one knocker or i'm going to throw a strike king sexy dog the sexy dog has honestly become probably my favorite top water walking bait over the past few years and you know i have a variety of different ones most of them are in shad patterns or some kind of clear pattern like this i found that the schooling um, fish usually come up on clear lakes so some kind of clear that lets the light through it's very natural Use, usually gets a ton of bites and another thing that I do is <clears throat> have a variety of different hooks so you can see on this one I actually have EWG hooks and what that does is if those bass are really really committed to that bait and they come up and eat it you're gonna hook them good and it's gonna be very hard for them to come off whereas on this one I have just round bend hooks and that's for those fish that are more slapping at that bait and when they're slapping at it that round bend hook has just a little more travel it allows you to get a hold of those fish that are just slapping at it not eating it good but once you get those hooks into them they're not gonna come off so just quick little tip there on on hooks but definitely top water is the first thing I'm gonna try just to see if I can get on that top water bite you know if that's something that they're wanting then that's what I'm gonna go for the next thing is gonna be a sub surface bait and one of my favorites is a spy bait this little bait is probably one of the most versatile baits out there right now it can do a lot of crazy things and it gets a lot of big fish but this spy bait is great for those middle of the lake school and fish because what you can do you can throw it through that school it's subsurface surface you can reel it at a pretty pretty good click i mean normal spy bait you know you want to be pretty slow methodical when i'm fishing for those schooling fish i keep it at a pretty good pace reel that bait in a lot of the times when they won't eat those top otters when they don't really want to come up to the bait they'll smash this spy bait because it just looks like a little bitty bait fish out there you know wounded trying to get away and they take that opportunity to eat it another thing about the spy bait that i really really like is the profile a lot of the times when you're dealing with those schooling fish out in the middle of the lake you're either going to be dealing with fish that are schooling on big bait fish like gizzard shad or you're going to be dealing with fish that are schooling on stuff like thread fin and this smaller profile that spy bait does a really good job of mimicking those smaller bait fish and it looks like something that that bass can easily overcome easily eat and when it's coming through the water and you got that shimmy those blades and those props are throwing that light you got that body wiggling it's just that thing that the spy bait does that gets those fish to eat and i have caught a ton of fish schooling using the spy bait reeling it you know a couple feet under the water now the next two kind of fall in the same category it's a category kind of together almost 
Um, but this is actually the bait that the guy I was talking about caught his PB on, and that is a spoon, and in particular, a Nichols Lure Lake Fork spoon. This is their smaller, kind of mid-sized spoon. It's not the big giant one, not the Ben Parker spoon, but it's not their little one either. It's kind of their mid-sized spoon. And with this thing, I'm throwing it out there and just letting it sink, and really, they're gonna usually eat it on the fall. Sometimes I'll jerk it up off not really the bottom, but kind of jerk it up just to get it to fall again and look like a dying bait fish trying to get away. And when that thing comes just, you know, fluttering down through that, that big fluttering action that a flutter spoon has, it looks just like a bait fish that's been stunned or killed. And that literally is the easiest opportunity for a bass to be able to eat it. And that's really most of the time they're playing when they're blowing up on those bait fishes. They're stunning them going back and eating the ones that they've knocked out or killed because it's just easy to do that easy meal and that's exactly what that flutter spoon looks like one of my favorite colors is this one right here um, it looks just like most of the bait fish around here when that thing goes fluttering down through the water column it looks just like a big old dead thread fin or a big old dead gizzard shad and then the shattered glass is just another one of my favorites because it looks just like big dying bait fish that is probably the the best way to resemble and to mimic dime bait fish is with a spoon. Now the next one, like I said, they're kind of together um, and that is some kind of blade bait. This is a great way you can reel this one real slow under the water like a spy bait. You can pump it like a blade bait. Now this one's gonna fall a little you know, harsher, a little faster. So really when you're pulling up on this one, getting that thing to vibrate and you know, rrr, 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 that's really when those fish are gonna eat it. Or like I said, reel it right under the surface. Um, but with both the spoon and the blade bait, you're gonna be able to cast them an extremely long way so you can reach those fish out in the middle of the lake. And then they both resemble some kind of dying bait fish or wounded bait fish, just the the literal easiest opportunity for those fish to eat and really what those fish's goal is is to to stun those bait fish and then to go back and eat them and yeah that's really the things that I focus on when I've got fish out in the middle of the lake schooling. I know for a lot of you guys, you're fishing really clear lakes where that can happen a lot. Um, if you're fishing in the south like I am, we'll have those warm, weird, like 90, 80, 90 degree days in late fall when the fish really aren't transitioned up shallow. They're not really deep. They're kind of suspended out in the middle eating on bait fish. And these are the kind of tools that you need to pick up and go and catch those type of fish. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments please go leave them in the comment section down below if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe like and notification bell to let you guys know when i put out all of my videos also go down in the description i'll have links to all my partners you guys can check out nickel spoons you can check out all the other baits i talked about but as always you guys are sweet and thank you for watching